Hey, Cajun Prime here. And I'm doing another live reaction of Adventures of Sinbad, Chapter 121. Alright, let's get to it. Watch out for that man. You should be very careful in Pathvinia. So this is it, the man that started the coup de... The coup de... Talos? No, the... I can always kind of say that, but I never can read it. For some reason. Uh, Journal of the Pathenia Empire. Bar. Yeah. Bar. Bar. Barbarossa. Barbarossa. Uh, I know he had a kind of a interesting name. That man. Yeah. Let's see. Just kind of a standoff at the the port, and Barbarossa is laughing for some reason. My apologies. It's been a while since I've been called that. That's right. You haven't heard. Why did he change it? Oh, he's retired from his military service and is now serving as the leader of the Independent Nationalist Party. Hmm, excuse me. Leader of a political party? What the hell? Haha, <laughs> I'm not surprised you haven't heard of it. A political party is an organization formed by those who share common political views. A party that is chosen by a popular vote <clears throat> controls the government on behalf of the people is a completely different political system from an absolute monarchy where a single king rules over all. After the ceasefire, Parthenia's political structure changed greatly. The emperor suddenly died from illness, the princess disappeared, a child prince was enthroned, and on top of that, Rim and other foreign countries demanded reparations from Parthenia after the ceasefire treaty. This put Parthenian citizens into an uncomfortable position. <clears throat> the deadlock between the countries was finally broken by the political changes set in motion by General Barbaria, or Barbaros, or Barbarossa. Why can't I say these names? <laughs> uh, Parthenia gave up its absolute monarchy. Instead of entrusting political power to its citizens, and instead entrusted its political power to its citizens, let me get this right, uh, converting to a constitutional monarchy. Due to this political re or reorganization, many political parties began to form in Parthenia, and through elections, the country changed allowing its citizens great influence over the government. Well, that was a nice little political overview of the world. <laughs> yes, I have retired from a role as general and have started a new political party. Now I'm merely acting as a member of this party, so I'm nothing more than an average citizen. <laughs> what are you saying, Lord Barbarossa? Your party, the Independent Nationalist Party, won the election by a landslide. The leader of the party in power has tremendous influence over the government. Calling yourself just an average citizen is beyond modest. Yeah, and with the shady eyes that he has, it really does not seem like he's modest at all. <laughs> That's not true. We won the election thanks to all of your party members. We're a group of like-minded allies that came together to change our country with our own hands. <clears throat> yeah, this kind of just has more meaning given the election going on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Parver... <clears throat> Parvinian... Uh empire from the for the sake of the Parvinian people that is our aim as the independent nationalist party 
Aren't you going to introduce us? Oh, by the way, aren't you going to introduce us? I'd like to meet the man beside you, King Rasid. Uh oh, that's bad. He does kind of recognize him, as far as I can tell. Mm, the king's a little like, mm, I don't think I want to. Even if you don't tell me, I know who he is. Well, that kind of answers the question. Rumors of that man have spread worldwide. You're that man, aren't you? Dungeon Conqueror Sinbad. Wait, don't panic. I'm no longer a soldier. I'm not interested in capturing you on the contrary. As a fellow Parfinian, I'm proud of your accomplishments. I'm sure you are. <clears throat> Conqueror of multiple dungeons, leader of a formidable trading company, and an extraordinary hero. That's, there's no one who hasn't heard of your adventures. You're a spectacular person. To drive someone as accomplished as you out of your homeland would be unthinkable. I welcome you, said that. Mm. Yeah, I'm not trusting of this. <clears throat> hmm. Well, King Rasid, there will be plenty of time for more discussion at the palace. Would you like to take a look around the city before we go there? The party leaders will personally show us around. Of course. Uh, Balbad is our top trading partner. It's our duty to serve as good host to its king. I say, if that's the case, I'll be happy to accept. That's good to hear. Sinbad, this is your chance. Take a good look at the current state of Parfenia. See the truth with your own eyes instead of just listening to others. Thanks to Barbarossa. Coupe de, de Trots. Yes. Yeah, we were a purge. There's terrible things going on in that country. That's right, I was thrown off by Barbarossa's sudden appearance, but my goal is still to observe uh, Parvinia's current situations. I'm just here to do what I came to do. What a crazy situation. Welcome to Parvinia. I guess that was the end of the chapter. Alright, that was a little shorter than I thought it would be. Thirteen pages. Hmm. Alright, well. It was interesting. Uh, not the best chapter, but... Eh, info dump, mostly. Alright. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.